Yes, my people, what's good? We have got on a wave vlog today after a long, boring international break. I don't know what was more entertaining, the Maguire goal for Scotland or the hot weather, but we are going to Villa Park. It's not really been the best hunting ground for us. I know we've only won there three times ever in our history and that <laughs> as a club. Unbelievable. We haven't won at Villa Park in the Premier League for nine years. It's Dwight Girl scored at Stunner. And in our last four games, it's Villa got promoted at Villa Park back in 2019. Three defeats and one draw, only scoring once. So we really got to improve that record. Who knows if we could do it today. It's going to be a close one. It's going to be a very intense one today as well, like it always is. It's going to be a real tough grinding performance that we will need if we want to get so the best we can hope for is a draw to be realistic a win would be a huge 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 bonus to be fair in that as well um but yeah i do think we will lose 2-1 i could be proved wrong and i do want the team to prove me wrong on that um but like they always say if we are to try and push for a point which would be the best result you know if you can't win a game make sure you don't lose it but i think i look at the villa side and on paper they've just got quality and top-notch superstars up front like drb bailey and watkins you know what it is so yeah we just got to watch them a lot but got a few injuries and top stars lerma and declare crucial first team players missing obviously alicia and frank are two weeks away from both being in the first team playing regularly and that but yes yeah, still without four crucial first team players it's a big blow looking at it right now so who knows how i Lineup is going to look. There's going to be big changes defensively. Are the new players coming into the a winning lineup recently going to, you know, falter or are they going to make an impact? So who knows what's going to happen? But Roy he needs to get the game plan on today. If we are to get signed, we really got to frustrate for them. We really got to be ruthless with our chances and that as well. Edouard's been on form. Matet has been all right recently. Eze has been on fire as always. If we can get them not playing, give the strikers and Edouard and Mateta, depending on who starts now, they need to get the good service. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I just want to see a goal. I just want to see a good performance over 90 minutes. And I would I love it if we were to win, especially against the top 10 side, because over the last few years, we have, well, not even the last few years, over the last year, we struggled to beat the top 10 sides in the Premier League, to be fair, especially away from home. So come on the Palace, man. Let's give it our all. It's not going to be easy, but we just need to battle hard, fight and that, like we always do and that, you know what I mean? Like we did in the last match and we'll get something. Fingers crossed. See you lot on the way there. We're going to be getting the train. Cannot wait. Eagles. With my dad right now, what is your prediction for today's game after the news that I've told you about the injuries and everything? Uh, well, originally <laughs> I was a little bit optimistic. Yeah. Um, the downside for, that, for me, firstly, is Villa. Like, mm. Our record of Villa is just awful. Did you know that we've only ever won there three times yeah. in our history? It's just got the most appalling record there so there is that <laughs> um, but uh, we've got a few injuries and I thought, yeah. oh, I thought you know what I've just got a funny feeling in my bones we could go out there and, and, and get, get something out of the game and I think we still can mm. even with these two injuries yeah sure um, but Gaty being injured is the one because he's, he's on form yeah. so disappointed he got injured playing for England mm. so um, you know it's going to be a, and again it's always a tough game at Aston Villa they've got yeah. a very good manager as well tactically he's Emery very good. Mm. yeah Emery's very good so um, but look we've got to go up there give 100% put in a better performance than we did last season last season was an awful game I mean yeah. just, just dreadful um, so we've got to put in a better performance I'm hoping that Eze will pull something out of the hat I mean he came on against Scotland for England last should have scored couple of days ago should have scored mm. played okay um, so I'm I'm sort of optimistic a little bit. So I think it'd probably be one one, but I'd like to think we can nick it one nil. Oh yeah, been optimistic, fair enough. Up the palace. And up the palace. Pizza Express now. It's hot. Yeah, I've got good. the garlic bread. Oh, it's good. Nice and hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of 10. He's, he's dipping it into the thingy with the sauce or whatever. What do you think? Mm. What do you give it out of 10? Um, it looks to me. 8? Alright, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. Garlic bread, I'll give it. 7 out of 10 Cider 10 out of 10 Love the Cornish cider as always Carbonara Ca Carbonara It's got chicken in it It's got, chicken in, it's got, it's got oh. chicken in it Because they've got no pancetta So um, it, But it's very very hot As you can see oh. Give it a solid 7.5 out of 10 yeah. 7.5 out of 10 yeah, amazing, oh, well. it's huge. I'll just this oh my god It's a nice Oh, nice and crispy. Yeah, out of 10? Um, 
Yeah. I'll give it a good eight. An eight, yeah. yeah I'll give it a good eight. It's better than mine, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Down this left hand side, cash man. Come Mitchell, put a foot in man. Well done Mitchell, well done. Yeah, look a bit more stronger on the car on the wheels by a mile. My worrying point. Your support is fucking shit. 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 Sam drops the pulls off a top save and then it's cleared away and then whipped it by Cash. Richards nearly scores an own goal. Madness. Should be 1-0 down. Not good. Jordan I is injured. I think Mateta. Yeah, I is coming off probably. Mateta most likely will be on. As a striker in Edgewater on the left. Can't think of anything else. Maybe Ratsaki, but is he up for it? I don't know. Judging by the chant, you can tell he's coming on. It's Mateta for IU. We forgot that you. What, what was that? Simple, simple pass. That should have been a simple pass and up like that. My lord, get the ball back. Get the ball back. There you go. Oh, nice. We come on. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Just like that, I've nothing for the score. Bloody hell. On the counter. It's been coming, I can't lie, but we were getting into the game and then that happens. Are they going to check it? I don't know, but disappointing, man. Ah! Check it out. What could this mean now? What could this mean? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, man, and watch the game. Yeah, they're all over us. They're going to get a we're not careful. I hate to jinx it, but it's all over us, man. Crucified us to pieces. I'm relieved. Not good enough, though. Shambolic, man. Absolutely shambles. How are not 2 3 0 down? It's beyond me. It's a miracle. Poor. You need to fix up, man. Another first half, no goals. And a performance. Another performance in the first half. We've got the reality is I'm just sitting here waiting for Villa to score, and that's something. But I've got to match them, come out stronger, and do a lot better as well, man. You know what I mean? Because that was unacceptable. You know? I hope Ray gave them a ball again at half time because they needed it. Go all 
day. Whatever that was. How much look? Yeah! Lads, well done. Well done, well done Lazman. Shut up, make it your twat. Shut up. Unlucky, 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 unlucky. Get it back. Get it back! Anderson, what are you doing there? What are you doing up? Oh, my word. You're the best of seven months, as I have Denying Watkins, I don't know. He's on his knee or something, looks bad, looks really, really bad. Unless it's cramp, I don't know, he's gone down holding his knee, I ain't got a clue. Looks bad, man. You're already here for the palace, here for the palace, you're already here for the palace. It's got a score, I don't care, it's got a score, it's got a score. Weak that was. Weak finishing, good run, but the finish was awful. SA man, come on, ah oh, man. Well one, big coming, big coming, big coming all game. When you don't take your chances in this league, that happens, man. I don't even know scored it. Ah oh, man, bloody hell. Get her in. Oh man, penalty. That's us finish. That is us finish, man. For Christ's sake. Check it out, I mean they're probably going to give it, it looked like a penalty from where I was. <laughs> Christ almighty, that, this game's mad, mad. What is going on right now, I swear to God. <laughs> what a load of old crap, ridiculous. Get <laughs> over. Game over. Game over. I'm done. No words. Please. Absolute disgrace. Shamble. Charge. Get out of people. Just got back from Villa Park. That was a painful one to take. You know, the way and the manner of it happening, it all kind of just happened so quick with Villa scoring them three late goals. To be 1 0 up at the 87th minute, and then at the 11th minute of added time, you're 3 1 down. It's damaging. It absolutely hurt. And that was that was a painful and hard one to take. Look, I'm not going to lie, over the course of the game, Villa were the better side overall. 
with the force they had up front with Bailey, who coming on as a sub, the RB was excellent throughout the game. Watkins, McGinn, and what's it, um, Louise in midfield, they were phenomenal, and they probably should have been 3 0 at half time. Even in the second half, we went 1 0 up. Great goal by Edward, you know, he was brilliant today and that as well. But Villa just, what, we just knocking on the door and, you know, we were just asking for trouble. We were defending a bit too deep at times. We had chance the second half to kill the game and never took them. And Villa, you could just see they were going to take revenge and, Boy, they did, didn't they? You know, with um, just the goals they scored. I want to talk about the penalty. It was not a penalty. It was a dive from Watkins and um, how the people, you know, in VAR and how Darren England and that little mug, scummy little never saw and noticed it. It's beyond me. The guy should never ref again. He's absolutely useless and he's a corrupt son of a to be fair. I'm just a bit peed off, you know. And it wasn't for that only. It was... When you know when Douglas Lewis scored that penalty, there was an infringement from an Aston Villa attacker in the box, and you're meant to retake the penalty. And for some reason, he he, he he was right in front of him, and he never he never forced Lewis to retake the pen. Ward complained in his protest. I got a yellow card for it. it Don't make any sense to me. It's driving me mad even looking back at it because after the game, if you saw me, I was fuming. You know, it all happened so quick. Like I said, in the manner of the defeat, and I just thought we kind of bottled it. I even said something on Twitter. Then I realised. It wasn't really down to us, you know. It was the referee who just was taken really with his decision making and everything. It was just like everything was going against us. He wasn't. He just was inconsistent and um, completely screwed us over once again. England, like he's done before in the past. The guy's absolutely useless. It wasn't our day. It was a bad day losing Lerma and um, Gates are injury along with Frank and Elise. They're still out. Roy Hodgson, who I hope gets well soon and is back next week for the Fulham match or in two weeks' time at Old Trafford. He was um, taken ill before the game and that. So hopefully he's doing well and that. You know, obviously Paddy McCarthy and Ray Lewington stepping in his place today did the best they could, in my opinion. But yeah, um, it's really sad. It's a sad day to be a Palace fan and I hope Roy Hodgson gets better, like I said. You know, really, really sad news today and that. Shot me completely and that. Yeah, man, I'm really just glad about that. But look, um... The fans did well today, getting behind a team, you know, chanting the, you know, Roy Hodgson and everything and that as well. Really meant a lot to us as a club and really probably means a lot to Roy and that as well. So, yeah, uh, big up to them and that for those that actually showed up today and attended because there were a few empty seats, which I weren't really happy about, but we'll talk about that another day. But, yeah, um, it's a hard one to take. Set me on a roller coaster of emotions. I was fuming and that as well. I don't really like it now, but if you saw me at the end of the match, on the way back on the train, you could see I wasn't a happy bunny. I was a bit low and deflated and kind of shocked in the manner of how the game just kind of fell away from us. You know, at first I kind of thought we threw it away, but it was down to officiating for VAR and that muggy referee, Mr. Crappy England, as I like to call him, to be fair. So, yeah, I'm a bit kind of annoyed by it. But look, we move on to Fulham next week. Let's hope we could get a response and we could get a home win like we did last time at home against Wolves. Bring that game on. Hope Roy's back. Hope some star man like Alise, maybe even Gaia back on that as well. Lerma, who knows? But yeah, fingers crossed. We just hit back fighting and um, not let this, this defeat kind of get us down. Even though it is hard emotionally to it's just. Oh boy, it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough few days, but we'll get through it like we always do. Hopefully, so yeah, see you on my next video in a bit.